Hello everyone and welcome to our OpenFast tutorial series. If you're a student, engineer, or just someone interested in wind turbine simulations, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to install and run OpenFast on your Windows computer, a step by a step. By the end of this video, you'll have OpenFast up and running and ready for future simulations. So let's get started. As a first step, you need to download the OpenFast. So you just need to open your browser, navigate to Google, and search for the GitHub page of the OpenFast. Type OpenFast GitHub. Click on this link. Click on the first link at the top left side. And then in this page, you can see the codes as well as the source file in order to compile the OpenFast on your computer. But I'm going to teach you a simplest way. Here on the right side, you can see there's a release of 404 uh, for this software. Perhaps when you watch this video in the future, it would be a newer release. Click on this link. And then here you can see the already compiled uh, files related to the OpenFast. So here the only file that we need for now is OpenFast x64.exe. Let me just download that. And done, there you go, you have the software. I highly recommend to store this file in somewhere suitable on your computer, somewhere that you can access without any hustle. Create a new folder in C drive, type fast, and then copy it here. There we go. You probably find out by now that if I just double click on, on the file, nothing will happen. Or even if I run it as an administrator, same again. This is because that the OpenFast doesn't have any GUI or user interface. And in order to run it, you need to use the CMD or PowerShell on your computer. So for this instance, I'm going to use the PowerShell. And in order to copy the path to this EXE, drag and drop it in the terminal and press enter. And there you go. Congratulations. You've just run the OpenFast successfully. The only error that the software generate is about the input file. And I understand that it could be quite difficult to write the input from the scratch. So, what we're going to do here is to go back to the GitHub repository that we've been there earlier, navigate back to the main page, and here you can see the artist. These are some exemplary that you can run with the use of the OpenFast. Or perhaps for the future use, you can get the idea or modify some of the files to suit your numerical simulations. And we have everything in this page. Click here on the code and download the zip file. All right, there we have it. This is the main file, but we don't need all of it for now. So what I'm going to do is to open this zip file and navigate to the glue code and then here we have a folder named OpenFast with all of the examples and certification files. So let me just copy this folder to somewhere appropriate. Uh, 
and just to make our life a little bit easier for the next step all right so this is the folder with all of the exemplary file in it and you can go ahead and try them one by one after I teach you how to do that. For now, we focus on the OC4 jacket platform. I could say that the important file for you at this stage would be the one with the FSD extension, which is the second one here. Open it with the appropriate tools such as Notepad++. And here you could have pretty good control over the flow of the simulations. You can have a control on the total runtime. You can on and off different components and features of the software. For example, the aerodynamic behavior, the servo controls, the hydrodyne, the mordyne, and etc. And you could also have a control on the output of the software. So how are we going to run this example? There are different ways, and I'm just going to focus on the simplest one here. So let me just close the file and open another Explorer windows. All right, so there are plenty of different ways to run this example with the help of the OpenFast. The first solution is just to simply drag and drop it over the exe file. And there you go, you have the OpenFast up and running and it's carrying out the simulations. But when it's finished, the terminal will be closed automatically. So you will have no idea what was going on there. The second solution that I usually prefer is to open the CMD or the PowerShell separately by typing in the start menu. And then what you need here is A space B. For A, you need to put the pass to the executable file, and for B, you need to put the pass to your FST, FST file. So let me just cl uh, clean this one here. And in order to copy and paste the path in the terminal, you can just drag and drop, put the space in place, and then copy and paste the path to the example. So basically, you're telling the terminal to open this exe file and put the FSD into it. When I press there, you can see that the OpenFast is running successfully and is carrying out the simulation for you. And when it's finished, you will have an idea on what was the total real time. If there were any warning, you can see it up here. And if there were any error, you will obviously receive a abort warning over there. But for us, and for this example, it was a successful try because the very last message is that the OpenFast terminated normally. So it's done. We have the output. There is a better way to run the fast. And in that solution, you don't need to put the address to the exe file every time. You can basically run the fast in any directory in your computer. And in order to do that, you just need to copy the pass to the exe file in the path of your computer. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So here, I'm just creating a simple new folder and I'm going to type batch. The name is not important at all. It's just for better readability. In this folder, I'm going to create a text document and name it fast. All right, so this is the txt file that we have. Let's just go back to the where we have saved the exe file. Hold the shift and right click on the program. And then there would be an option as copy as path. There you go. Control V and we obviously just need the path itself. Press space and then type percentage star and save the file now I need to change the extension to bat 
So this is the command that we can type in the terminal, like in PowerShell or in the CMD. But our computer does not know where this command is. So we need to put an address to this bat file in the computer path. So whenever we type fast in any terminal, any location of the computer, it will refer back to this one. So let me just open this PC, properties, advanced system settings, environmental variable under the advanced tab. Here under the system variables, you can see the path, edit, new, and I just need this address. All right, okay, okay, okay. So now we just gave the address to this particular folder to our computer path. Now let's just go back to our example. This was the OC4 jacket example. What I'm going to do is to open the PowerShell again, type fast, put the space, drag and drop example here and press enter. There you go. And done. Open fast terminated normally. Congratulations. You finalized your training on installing the open fast. And as the final bonus, I'm just going to show you how to extract the results of these particular simulations that we have discussed in this example. Open the FSD file again with the suitable tools, which for me is the Notepad++. And then under the heading of output, you can change the desired output of the software. So here it said output file format is option four. The option four is the uncompressed binary. I will teach you in the later videos how to deal with these binary files and what is their advantages over a simple TXT file. But for now, let's just change this option to text file, which is the option one. Let me just go ahead and save this FSD file. And obviously I need to run it again. So the computer will generate the result for me. Fast space, the address to the example. You don't need to type down the address to the FSD file. You basically drag and drop the file in the terminal and then you have the address. Press enter. Give it a few minutes or a few seconds for this example. Open fast, terminate it normally. All right. So the output of the software is here with the extension of .out. I'm just going to right click and open it with Notepad++. And there you go you have different output here. If you want to plot them, for example, in an in a Excel file, you just need to open the Excel. Drag and drop it here. And then you can do the plot against different time steps. So well done. You just finished the first video on how to install or better to say how to deploy the OpenFast on your Windows computer. I suggest for the next step, you just go through this folder and try different examples on your own. And in the next video of this series, we will be focused on different aspects of these numerical tools. So stay tuned and see you soon.